Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice problem 7.11 from Hades book. And the question is this one. Write a single nodal equation for the circuit of figure 7.34a. Okay, let's do that. So we need to do nodal analysis in this circuit. So I will put this bottommost node as our ground. So the voltage here will be zero. And because this voltage is V, so I want to name this node is also V. So we don't have any difference between this and this. Okay. And now let's do KCL by first assuming the direction of the current. So I will assume the currents like this. And let's apply KCL at V. KCL at V. And I mean KCL at V. So the sum of the currents that goes in is equal to the sum of the currents that goes out. And remember, we are working on the SI unit. I mean, volt, ampere, and ohm, and farad, so on. So we eliminate all the micro, milli, and so on. So the current that goes in is only from this current source. So let's write that. So I will have 8 multiplied by e to the minus 10 to the 60. And the unit here is milliampere, so I need to multiply it by 10 to the minus 3. Okay, so far so good. And that is only the current that goes in. All the other currents is go out. Now let's work on this 10 ohm resistor. And the current here will be V minus 0 divided by 10. Or I just write it V divided by 10. Okay, let's do what's next okay here we have a capacitor remember that the current in a capacitor is c dv over dt so this is the capacitance which is 0 0.2 microfarad so i will write 0 0.2 but micro is 10 to the minus 6 and we multiply it by dv over dt okay now i want to get rid of all the decimal so i want to multiply all of this by 10 to the 7 and so i will have 8 multiplied by 10 to the 4 e to the minus 10 to the 6 of t and that will equal to this one 10 to the 6 of v plus this one 2 dv over dt okay so now let's rearrange this maybe so i will have 10 to the 6 of v plus 2 dv over dt and that will equal to 8 multiplied by 10 to the 4 e to the minus 10 to the 6 of t and this is the nodal equation Okay, so let's write that. So this is the nodal equation. Okay, so now what's next? We are asked to show by direct substitution that V is equal to minus AT e to the minus 10 to the 6 of T millivolt is a solution. Okay, so let's write that maybe. So V is equal to minus a t but here is millivolt so i want to multiply it by 10 to the minus 3 and then multiply it by e to the minus 10 t to the i mean minus 10 to the 6 of t and the unit will be volt. okay so now we need to substitute this into this nodal equation.
Okay, let's do that. So I will have 10 to the 6 multiplied by minus 80 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 e to the minus 10 to the minus 6 of t. Okay, this is this part. And then plus 2 the, de the derivative of this one. Okay, let's insert that. Minus 80 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 e to the minus 10 to the 60. Okay, this is for the left hand side. Okay, now let's multiply all of this. And what can we get from here? Okay, so now this is 10 to the 6 and this is 10 to the 3. So I will have 10 to the 3, right? And then I will have minus 8 multiplied by 10 to the 4. And here I will have e to the minus 10 and then 60. Yeah, like this. This is not minus, right? I made a mistake. Okay, so now let's do this part. I will have 2. The derivative of this will be positive 1 right because this is minus and minus so i will have 80 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 multiplied by 10 to the 6 okay and then i will have e to the minus 10 to the 6 of t okay so far so good so I'll have minus 8 multiplied by 10 to the 4th e to the minus 10 of 60. And for this one, I will have 16. And also multiplied by 10 to the 4th e to the minus 10 to the 6 of t. Okay. And now we can just add them up. Minus 16 plus 16. Minus 8 plus 16 will be 8, right? So I'll have 8 multiplied by 10 to the 4th. E to the minus 10 to the 6 of t. And that will equal to the right hand side. So we have shown that the this one is a solution of our differential equation. So I will have that is a QED. Okay, so now what's next? So the next one will be finding out P1, P2, and I in the second circuit. Okay, let's do that. Uh, this circuit is inviting us to use KVL, right? So I will have this loop here and this loop is the same as i okay let's do kvl at i kvl at i okay we start from this voltage source and the current is flowing from negative to positive so our sign will be negative so i will have minus 8 e to the minus 10 to the 6 of t but here we have millivolts, so I multiply that by 10 to the minus 3. And then plus this resistor here, so I will have 0 0.1 multiplied by I. And then this inductor, so I will have plus, remember the, vo the voltage in an inductor is L di over dt. So here I will have 0 0.2. So let's do that, 0 0.2. But here is micro Henry. So I will have this multiplied by 10 to the minus 6 di over dt. 
and all of this will equal to zero because remember KVL said the sum of voltage in a loop will equal to zero. And now let's make this tidier. So I will have 0 0.1 of I plus 0 0.2 multiplied by 10 to the minus 6 Ti over dt. And that will equal to, I want to move all of this to the right hand side. So I will have 8 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 e to the minus 10 to the 6 of t. Okay, well, now let's multiply all of this by what? 10 to the 7 maybe. Yes, 10 to the 7. Okay, so I will have 0 0.1 multiplied by 10 to the 7. I will have 10 to the 6 of i. And then plus, this one will be 2 di over dt. And this one will be 8 multiplied by 10 to the 4 e to the minus 10 to the 6 of t. So we will have our loop equation. Yeah, so we'll have loop equation. But if we see here, that is exactly the same as differential, this differential equation, but with V replaced by I, right? So what can we do is using the solution that we have proved before. So I'll, we will get our I is just this, but with the unit of ampere. So from there, from here, we will have I is equal to minus 80 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 e to the minus 10 to the 6 t ampere or i is equal to minus 80 e to the minus 10 to the 6 t milli ampere. So here is for I. Is it correct? I don't know. Oh yeah, let's check it. So I is another for C, right? So I think our answer is correct, right? Okay. So now we are asked to find V1 and V2. We can easily get that from I. Okay, so let's do that. So I will have V1. V1 is just I multiplied by the resistance and the resistance is 0 0.1. 0 0.1. And that means that V1 will be minus 8 e to the minus 10 to the 6 t. And the unit will be 4. Or millivolt? No, millivolt. Yeah, millivolt. Okay. The unit will be millivolt because the I is milliampere and the resistance will be in ohm. And then for V2, remember that V2 will be 0 0.2 multiplied by... L D I over D T. Okay, so I will have this will be 10 to the minus 6 and D over D T of this one, right? Minus 80 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 E to the minus 10 to the 6 T. Okay, that one will be 0 0.2 multiplied by 
10 to the minus 6. Then for this one, I will have, what is it, 80. 80. But multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 and 10 to the 6. Because the minus sign will be cancelling each other, right? So I'll have e to the minus 10 to the 60. And for this, the unit will be volt. But if I want to do it in millivolt, I will need to multiply it by 10 to the 3. So this will gone and minus 6 and plus 6 will cancel each other. So let's do that. So I will have, what is it? 16 multiplied by 10 to the minus 3 e to the minus... 10 to the 60 volt or 16 e to the minus 10 to the 60 millivolt and this is for v2 and i think that's all thank you for watching hopefully this will help you to understand this question thank you